Hello and welcome to a new geometry question with Matt Dartic. In this question, two circles are given. The radius of the left circle is R1 and the radius of the right circle is given as R2. These two circles touch externally and this point is the point where they touch. The question asks to find the lengths of the common tangent between these two circles. Let's start the solution. As mentioned in the question, this line is the common tangent, which means that this line is tangent to both circles at this point and this point, respectively. There is a hint that we are going to use, and the hint says the radius of a circle is perpendicular to the tangent line at the intersection point. So if I plot the radius at intersection point, we have right angle here. And if I do the same thing for the other circle, we have a similar situation and we have right angle here. We know that this is R1 and this is R2. Next is to add a segment that connects the center of these two circles. So I'm going to connect the center of these two. So let me adjust this. Okay. Now, if you take a look at this shape, we have a shape which is not rectangle. One common mistake that students make is to assume that this is a rectangle and this is R1 plus R2, so this length is R1 plus R2. But this is not the case because these two angles are not right angles and we can't assume that this is a, a right angle and this is a rectangle. And we can't assume that this shape is a rectangle. However, there is a way to convert this shape into a rectangle. So if I draw a line parallel to this common tangent starting from this point, I will have a shape like this. So let me try it. So let's say I plot this one. Because this line is parallel to this line, this angle is right angle. We also get right angle at this point. And the same thing here, because these are two parallel lines and uh, this line crosses these two parallel lines, we have same angles at these points. Therefore, the shape that I plot here is a rectangle. So if that is a rectangle, I know that this section is R2 now, and I can write it down, this, is, this side is R2, and this one was R1, so the remainder is R1 minus R2, so this one is R1 minus R2. And also we have right angle here, right angle here, right angle here. Now we have a right triangle at this point. And if you take a look at this, this is a right triangle. And we can easily use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, because this shape is a rectangle, if we calculate the lengths of this side, this is equal to the lengths of the common tangent. So by applying the Pythagorean theorem, we can easily obtain uh, this side. So uh, I will call the uh, common tangent as x, so x squared plus uh, r1 minus r2 squared. So we have this side squared plus this side squared is equal to this side squared. And this line is the line that connects the center of two circles. So the length of it is r1 plus r2. So this one is r1 plus r2 squared. So x squared is equal to r1 squared plus r2 squared plus 2 times r1 times r2 minus r1 squared minus r2 squared plus 2 times r1 times r2. Therefore, we have x squared is equal to 4 times r1 times r2. Mm, x is equal to 2 times square root of r1 times r2. Yeah, this is the end of this video. There are other ways to solve this problem. If you have an alternative solution, please share it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.